Lily is a character from Borderlands 2. She is, uh, I'm guessing, roughly 450 pounds and uh, is how it. Yeah. She knows how hot she is and she is not afraid of it. Yeah. She just knows people are afraid of how crazy hot she is. She's very powerful. She knows what she wants. She knows how to get it. And that's what she does. Yeah. So, I mean, this might seem like an odd question, but how, how does Ellie's level of confidence compare to other kind of stereotypical female characters that you've played, like her level of just awesome badassery? There is no doubt. There is very little vulnerability with her, and I think that's very interesting. A lot of times I think the super sexy girls get a vulnerability to make them approachable and tangible, and, you know, uh, with Ellie... They, she's loved immediately. They, she, they don't have to have a reason to like her, so she can be 100% balls to the wall, just as confident as any of the male characters, and no, there is no shame. And she's loved for that. She's celebrated for that, where I don't think maybe if she looked like some of the other ones, yeah. that would be the same story. That's a really interesting observation. Do you think that, like, the... Do you think that you, the audience is prepared for, an like stereotypically attractive or um, incredibly confident character, or would that just freak out too many people? I think the issue sometimes lies in if you are an overly confident, sexy woman, you're a bitch. <laughs> if you're an overly confident, sexy man, you're powerful. And that sometimes gets communicated in, in characters that we, that we play as well which is why you have a vulnerability there. There is a weakness that the girl has so that then we, we like her because she's not perfect. The men can be perfect and that's okay, but the women can't be perfect. Although realistically, if you look at comic books, the more interesting ones are the ones who have issues anyway, but generally the women have to be a little more vulnerable and a little more weak. It seems like there is a greater variety of quote unquote issues that male characters are allowed to have yes. though. It seems like female issues are always a very specific quadrant of the yes. spectrum, right? That you can choose between three, right? There are very few issues that women can have. Men have yeah. a multitude yeah. of issues that they can have. Um, although everyone's really come down to their parents, right? Yeah. It kind of seems that way. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, definitely there, there are fewer cho choices for the women to have. But there are fewer characters, you know? There are how many revisits of the same character do we see yeah. and then they're not as interesting and well uh, does this uh, so does this phenomena uh, occur primarily in games or do you find it in all of the different arenas that you perform in yeah anywhere there's a girl with perky jays yeah. you'll find that <laughs> yeah if she can't walk in real life then there's probably something that's not fair to yeah. her <laughs> besides the size of her chest so how has the reaction been from the fans that you've interacted with in regards to Ellie? Is it, is it like typical for other characters that you've played or is it maybe a little bit different? The typical from what? I'm sorry? From like, because I'm sure you have fans for many, many projects that you do. When you see a Borderlands fan come up to you, is there like, are they, are the kinds of things they're saying to you different or is it like typical, oh, the same, the same as always? Well, they, you know, most of the people that come up to me to talk about my characters do it because they love them. Yeah. So thank God. Because yeah. <laughs> it would be horrible. Yeah. Let me tell you about how much I hate this character. Unless I'm a bad character, then I love that. That's fantastic. Sure. Uh, with Ellie, though, they do. They love her. They think, they think she's a lot of fun and she's crazy. And more often than not, they don't believe that I play her, which is the biggest compliment I could get. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, actually the fans are great. They're always very supportive of of whatever character I'm playing. They're, they might be a little shocked that I did this voice and that voice and right. try to put that together, but. Sure. <laughs> that is your job, though. <laughs> yeah. um, so, if you were a, a young girl now and you were seeing characters like Ellie in media, you're seeing the confident women who weren't just eye candy, although Ellie is obviously also very attractive. Yes, um, she's hot. <laughs> She's how it. Um, do you think that that might have changed your perception of media in general? Well, I, th I think so. I think the more, like, she should not, she shouldn't be a novelty. 
we should have more of that. Uh, I think that's why she's such a an popular character is because she is a novelty and we don't see it and it's kind of inspiring other people to do similar things or realistic people. Um, but as, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> well as, yeah. But as far as, um, what, was, what was the question? I forgot. Well, I'll put it this way. <laughs> I, yeah, of course. No, it's, yeah, it's been a long con. Um, like, would you... Oh, with a little girl. Got it. Yeah. Yes. So I think there needs to be more of that to support... You know, every, there, there is every man. We, we get a lot of every men in, in the world. We don't get a lot of every women. And that doesn't mean she has to be plain Jane. Like, she just maybe could walk normally or, <laughs> you know, have realistic, something realistic about her. Be a, be a whole complete person. You know, let's make her something that if she's being sexualized, that's the choice of the person watching her. It's not all about her being sexualized. There's actually a character there because, you know, you find those great characters, you know, Ellie, or I'm the voice of Witchblade in the anime. She's a well-rounded character and it always surprises me when people say, well, oh, yeah, she's fan service or whatever, because it's like, well, she's a really good character. You're the one who's doing that. Like, embrace her as a full character. What we need for, you know, a lot of women, especially there's so many of us in this genre, not just as performers, but as fans, we need more women that are good characters. Because why would you want anything else? Why would anybody tolerate anything else? And we have been, and it's been too long, I think.